All right, should we do this one or should we do this one? The worst anime this season. Which one do you want, chat? So let's just do this. All right, heads, we're going with Professor Orlando. Tails, we're going with worst anime. All right, ready? And it sets. All right, well, there you go. As always, we start with the basics. What is rule 34? Like, what is that? And even if you are familiar, have you ever stopped to think like, why do we call it that? What is the rule? You know, rule 34, the actual rule is that if it exists, there is explicit art of it. Yep. You can fill in the holes yourself. If it is in existence, it, if it is a thing, there is explicit work of it. You might there be doubting is. it. And anything there is like, on the internet, exists, there that is. That means anything and everything, correct? Yes. What are the origins from Wikipedia? Rule 34 originated from a 2003 webcomic caption rule number 34 there oh shoes there is an actual history behind this oh fuck we're learning something new all right guys time to grab your pen and paper there is explicit work of it no exceptions which was drawn by peter morley soter so this is him quick shorthand version the webcomic Damn, was that's a actually a pretty good drawing comic, holy shit uh, by peter morley soter and it was um you know the caption was you know rule 34 there is explicit work of it, no exceptions. And he made this comic to depict his shock at seeing Rule 34 of Calvin and Hobbes. Calvin and Hobbes. Okay, who is that? Let me, let me check that. Calvin and Hobbes. Who's Calvin and Hobbes? Oh, wait. Oh no! It's like one of those like children cartoon. Oh no! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Rule thirty four even has yep. I I now remember yep. Explicit content of anything, even if it's like the most childish and innocent thing, it will exist for it. Oh god! <laughs> oh. So yeah. He drew this to show his shock. We we say rule thirty four. <clears throat> It implies the existence of a greater range of rules, at least 34 of them, perhaps more, but at least 34, you would surmise. Here's that's the thing, right? Nobody really cares what all the rules on the internet are. What the preceding 33 rules are, nobody cares. Is there any other rules beyond that? Nobody cares. What matters is rule 34. 34 is the one that everyone knows, and that's all that matters. That there are more rules. The so-called rules of the internet. Another popular example is Rule 63, which states that for every male character, there is a female version of that character yep. and vice versa. Exactly. For example, there's a, a male version of Naruto. Gender and bending. Rule 63 states that for every male character, there's a female version and vice versa. Although... Here's the thing, though. That Rule 63 already exists in the manga since, like, chapter 1. He transformed into basically a sexy female version of himself. Gender bet- Shut up. No. No, we're not going there. We're not going there. Professor Nux, thank you so much for oh, coming Nux. to class today to give some insight on this important topic. Do you want to- Introduce yourself to the students here really quick. Oh, uh, hello students. It is I, Lord Nux, uh, Professor Nux, uh, good friend of Professor Lando's. We've studied together. We've, uh, mm -hmm. we've troubled, the, uh, we, we've those overcome were, those, the trials of tribulation. Those were the days, remember? Back in Through those much experimentation. Days. I'm still Most sore. of it legal. It was, we, we came out to some truly wonderful discoveries in the academia world, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, as you know, today we're talking about Rule 34, and you and I, we're, we're cultured men. Not only are we intellectuals, but just because you're an intellectual... Just like every other man in this chat as well, cultured, cultured men, right? Mm -hmm. We're all you cultured men. definitely are. I can tell. I know. I, I, I Over the years, we've... I, 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 see the, I see that glimmer in your eyes. 
I don't know. I got real good Sigma vibes the second I found you on YouTube mm -hmm. the first time. I, I consider myself Sigma one of the first vibe. people that discovered you. Yes, like, Back yes. when you were a rare gem. Right, right. When I was eating half-eaten McDonald's in the garbage <laughs> like a raccoon, <laughs> Nux was I like, was, hey, I wasn't going to say it, but, yes, uh, you yes. know. <laughs> What do you think? Ah, uh, yes, just like me, for real, for real. Thirty four is, you know, there's so much eat out of the trash can. Adult content, not really, even but before Rule Thirty Four, and even metaphorically, still, um, mm. we're we're venturing into um, all these new platforms, territory. right? All these platforms and new territory, but still, Rule Thirty Four keeps a iron grip on the culture. Why do you think people like Rule Thirty Four so much? What's the appeal, Professor? I'm glad you've asked this question. Um, I would say that. Much like how only a small sliver of the percentage of insect species were discovered in the world, I would go as far as to say that only a small sliver of Rule 34 porn has yet to be revealed as right, well. Hello, right. Nico like we Kuru Kuru <laughs> Damn. Absolutely. We are just at the precipice Another star rail players, of aren't we? a utopia of Rule 34. Doing? I really think it's important for the public to understand much more about Rule 34. Like, I'm still pretty sure that uh, people are unaware that rule 34 is because 3 plus 4 is 7, and the 7th commandment is thou shalt not commit adultery, showing you right. how basically we're, we're throwing away three-dimensional people and just completely throwing ourselves into the internet. I wanted to ask you... Well, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nux, but that, that explanation is a little bit too scientific for me. I would need a more monkey language explanation of what you said. I hope you will give me that. At some point. What is the boundary between joke and an actual desire, actual mm. searching Rule 34 to meet an end? A lot of people maybe think Lilo and Stitch Rule 34, ha ha. Other people might be like, I'm about to have a fun night. But what, what, what do you think about that boundary Please, between no. joke and, and, you know, actual? Please no. No, 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 no. Like, I, 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 I can't take it. If it's something... That was like a cartoon, a character, a popular character that was meant for like kids, especially if it's like Lilo and Stitch, or let's just say, um, I'm trying to think, I can't think on top of my head right now because like my brain is a bush, like listening to all of this. It's like, oh god, like just, just the idea of a rule 34 Lilo and Stitch just makes me have goosebumps. Uh, Lilo also, bruh, no, 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 just, just no, just no, just no, just no. Just no. Actuality. Wonderful conundrum you've just asked, Professor, because I think that, again, much like, you know, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, Rule 34 what? is either f a fetish or a meme, depending on the conscious observing mind. There's always a Rule 34 that holds a special place in each individual's heart. Absolutely. And for I um, wanted to ask, what is your first exposure to Rule 34? Or if you can't remember, maybe the most memorable. I ventured in. My exposure to Rule 34. First exposure? Jesus. Dude, that was a long time ago, man. <laughs> a long time ago. I think that my first exposure to a Rule 34 of something, it was definitely a doujin of like some characters of a manga or a game I like. I don't even remember what was the first one I came across. It was a long time ago, man. It was like on some dodgy website as well that probably they gave my computer viruses and uh, made me have to like format my hard drive like several times, like within the span of a few months. <laughs> and studied so much Rule 34 right. over my time just preparing the tournaments. I've hosted four Rule 34 tournaments. I've delved so deep. I don't even know where the surface lies at this point. True. But you have to realize Rule 34 is part of the rule sets to the internet. You know, if it exists, there's porn of it. That, right. That's one of the rules of the internet. So it's yep, basically, discussed that. it's supposed to be a meme. It was created right. as the meme. Yeah, it is. About how there's just so much porn on the internet, mm. and then it became. It was a, a meme before, before the word meme was popular. And explore and experience in their own way. It's right. truly a beautiful thing. But also to answer your question, Raven. You found it when you were looking at Pokemon. Oh my God! You have you have my condolences. May your soul have my condolences. From Teen Titans. God bless. Ah, see, and this is why Professor Nux and I we are. Uh, have come to agree on, on many intellectual fronts. Zone, are you familiar with this? Oh, of intellectual? course I'm familiar with Zone. <laughs> For me, um, Zone created... Okay. Why is he drawing Raven? Zone, um, Zone did many things in the, in the world of 
the the entire academic side of Rule Thirty Four. Because um, dude, the amount of people who are thirsty for like Starfire uh, Raven I, I, was I, I ridiculous. Doubt. Okay, no, how, how it proposes that the fundamental constituents of the universe are one dimensional strings as opposed to like. <laughs> and he's wrong, Starfire. Right. Oh fuck! Right. This. So I, I where is that Blackfire? The no, it's the gotta be Starfire of Rule Thirty Four, which has become like its own interesting meta society online. As a string theory understanding of porn in general. You didn't crush on them? I like Raven, but I didn't crush on them. I don't have any memories ever, ever crushing on Starfire or Raven. I like both of them. I like I like Raven a lot because, like, you know, I was a emo kid. Like, when I was very, very young, when I was a wee little lad, of oh, fucking course, the young little Rio was a fucking emo kid, and when I see Raven, who is also like a freaking emo goth, yeah, of course, like, I'm gonna like her, but did I crush on her? I don't think so. I crushed on Raven, you smooch, Rio crushed Cyborg, no, I did not. I mean, I liked the whole entire Titans, I just didn't really have a particular crush. Normally, people view different fetishes as different niches. Some people are intrigued in and interested in different areas some people like hentai some people like 3d stuff i wouldn't understand them but you you know what i'm saying but when <laughs> when zone and rule 34 came to the board it proposes the idea that no we are looking at all as strings what we perceive as oh. particles are merely vibrations in the loops okay. of string which is rule 34. my first exposure was zone sama artist animator that gained popularity Great. by creating these animations whether it's whether it's Teen Titans or Foster Zone for Imaginary Friends. Oh no, zone, not Foster Zone! No, uh, please. Focused, I think. Okay, you know what? I'm not too surprised because I'm pretty sure there were a lot of kids who watched Foster Zone for Imaginary Friend and had a crush on Frankie. I am so goddamn sure. I am so goddamn sure I, that that was a fucking case. People didn't crush on anybody else but fucking Frankie. You love that one, dude. Foster Zone for Imaginary Friend was good, but God, I do not need the imagery of the fact that some people. Out there, may I rule 34 Frankie? Okay, uh, it's fair to say, uh, primarily on, on Western Indeed. media, Indeed. Western media, and, and that brings me to my, my next point that I wanted to ask you about. It does seem that rule 34 is a, is a, it's, it's a Western thing because what is different between rule 34 and, and just hentai? I am glad you asked. Rule 34, again, the reason why it is so powerful, the answer is none. I believe it, uh, well, almost none. Blank's constant holds true, okay, is because yeah. rule 34. To its core, started off as a meme. So you got people fapping to actual Teen Titans. Why not actually make <laughs> porn of it? Right. And I do believe that that is where it all came from. And since it stemmed from this meme, it's all based on actual things that people have been fapping to. It's just let's explicitify it. Whereas hentai, hentai is its own original creation, and it's beautiful in its own way. Like the way Dropout discusses capitalism gone too far. And so many more intellectual pursuits in the worlds of hentai, uh, and that's wonderful. It doesn't hit that meme component. What is doujinshi if not Japanese Rule Thirty Four? There, okay, I will refute on this part as well because I actually have doujinshi. They are not hentai. Has any one of you ever watched a uh, Onitanwa Oshimai? The one where like the freaking little sister turned his brother into a middle school girl in order to reform his life from being a freaking shut in. That one. Doujin just didn't mean unofficial. No, doujinshi just means self-published magazine. If you read the actual kanji and try to just translate it directly, it just means self-published magazine, book, whatever. That freaking anime was also originally a doujinshi. And it's not, it's not hentai at all. It's not 18 plus. It's actually a very funny, I wouldn't say wholesome because it was kind of raunchy. It has some wholesomeness to it, but man, it, it was, it was pretty raunchy. And to be honest, good work on the offer because it's actually really funny. Onitan Oshima is actually genuinely funny. I remember I used to I actually bought it. Do I still have it? I don't think I have it anymore. I must have thrown out, but I remember I used to actually have like physical copies of it. That it's all based on the twisted fetishes of man. It's it's sort of a a taboo type feeling. Like maybe you could even say intention. Hentai, mm. uh, jo, doujinshi, right? Doujinshi. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, if that you're that unfamiliar, familiar. you know hentai is just anime or manga adult explicit work. Um, yep. More specifically, doujinshi is a Japanese term for self-published printed works. See? Like magazines, yes. manga, novels. See? Could be... Fuck, I fucking nailed it. I fucking nailed the actual exact translation. 
all of my years of learning Japanese didn't go to fucking waste just for this one fucking moment. Safe for work. At its core, you could say, you know, if you read a, a, a doujinshi of, of, you know, some Naruto. It does I mean, seem rule 34. I guess they are parody. Right, right. But I, I, I think rule 34 is, is, is like, is more directly sort of a parodic type of thing as opposed to Yo, hentai. Yo, what? Did you just invent the word parodic, like parody? No, erotic? no, it's like erotic you know, parody it's, it's is parodic. I, you know, come on, you know, parodic. Damn, we're now we're, thoughts on he's this. invented a new word, guys. Uh, Make sure you use it, parodic. Law. Professor Lando's law of rule 34 and, and hentai. All hentai rule 34, but hmm. not all rule 34 is hentai. I would not say that all hentai is rule 34 because rule 34 is inherently... so. T because there's, maybe there's you're right. I, I didn't ponder it from this perspective. Well, well, okay, actually, you're right. Because there, there are original hentai works. Yeah. There, but, but then again, yeah. I, that's what I was saying at first. Mm. Originally, I was saying no. Um, oh my god, this is some I deep discussion. So because there are hentai that are original works. But then are hentais actually rule 34 because they're already porn? Deep philosophical question is being asked right here, right now. And again... The constant of rule 34 that we should be like plugging oh into gosh. every equation is if it exists, there is porn of it. And if it itself is porn, then it it's, exists it's, and there is porn of it. It is rule 34 of itself. Original it, hentai oh, shit. becomes rule 34 Damn. of itself. Yo, I we have reached a conclusion. Right now. Wow. Uh, <laughs> move <laughs> over, Oppenheimer. We got some new mind bombs here oh shoot wait okay now this guy great god sephiroth has asked a very important question is there porn of porn here's the thing if a minus and a minus becomes a plus does this mean if there's a porn of a porn does it mean it's no it's just something that is no longer r18 rated because you know minus a minus becomes a plus yes or no <laughs> oh god no damn my thesis is wrong. Probably cut that. Oh I, don't, my God. I think I'll cut that That's... one. Talking about the spirit of Rule 34, it, it's like fan fiction. To take stuff, you know, yes. rooted in reality, the original source material, for example, and being able to throw your own imagination into it, that has to be the main appeal of Rule 34. Because again, we, we said in the beginning, you know, someone might say, dang nabbit, why, why would you watch some Teen Titans uh, Chinese cartoon? <laughs> Chinese uh, cartoon. Porn, but I can go over to the hub. <laughs> oh my god. Day. Dude, that is the most like Asian parent thing there is, just calling it Chinese cartoon. Oh, I fucking love it. It's because they don't quite understand that. Part of it is the taboo. I think we talked recently about how back in the old days, it, it was all about the ankle. True, we did mention that before. That's true. Because yes. the, the ankle was historically uh, covered up. <laughs> yep. why, why do people like feet? Well, I think it has yes. to do with... It's, it's a taboo. Not, not so much a taboo, but... you. You know, your feet are usually covered. Oh my right? god. Same thing with the ankles. He's dissecting feet on, fetish. Holy shown, shit, we are... Oh, fetish. mine if throughout human has history, expanded three times today, chat. In shoes, maybe there would be less foot fetish. Is is That is true. So what you're saying is, if there was more boobs in Teen Titans, there would be less porn. Yes, that's a very <laughs> important point. It's, it's like, if, for example, if... If Starfire and Raven were constantly shown in like very skimpy and also uh, very sexual scenarios, let's say, I okay. Here's here's the thing. Their outfit already, Starfire and Raven are already like somewhat skimpy for like that time period. But it's just that because you know it's a cartoon. It's supposed to be meant for like kids and teenagers at at best. They obviously didn't go down you know the degenerate route with it. But I'm just saying. The outfit originally has awakened a lot of desire in young gentlemen, okay? I would say that the Rule 34 fervor, fervor for them would be not as much. Same thing with Frankie from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, <laughs> <laughs> right? If, if, if in the source material, if Frankie was just a big slut, you would be, <laughs> I, would be, I would surmise to say you'd be less interested in the rule 34 but it's because of the taboo not necessarily taboo but the dichotomy of of its innocence drives yes. no i i understand what you're saying more I, I completely understand there's this there's this awkward balance this this vector i'd even go as far as to say okay where on one side of the scale you if they're not sexualized at all 
then there isn't going to be that much Rule 34 of them. And if they're over-sexualized... True, you know what? No that is true. Rule 34 of them. It really needs to hit that sweet spot. That sweet... That perhaps you say... The, that matrix that right, G spot right at the core of Rule 34. That, that, that G spot. Yes. Do you have any closing remarks for the students here? Uh, drop a follow, subscribe, leave a like. Everyone, support there Pro Pussy. What an absolute legend. <laughs> there it is. Beautiful, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, chat, we have learned so many things today. Today, we have learned many, many things. And our mind has absolutely, you know, expanded several times today you know what i'm gonna leave a like and if you guys haven't like you know leave a like already i know the video is basically over one year ago but it's still a banger video it's still worth watching like i'm